first thing Clement remarked was, ah, unajua nilikuwa na yeye jana na tukafanya interview na Betty. Very sad. He was really shaken by those uh, very, very, very sad news. Mm. And he's here with me to tell us, uh, you know, he lastly spoke to the governor, as you've said yesterday. How was he? Clement, you were with the governor yesterday and you conducted an interview with him. How was he? Yes, Karo. In fact, it's uh, another sad day for the residents of Nyeri. Yesterday, we were with the governor at his office. We conducted a very good interview. He was jovial as usual. He's, you know, the way governor speaks. So he didn't, you know, things, these things just happen. We, nobody could tell what was going to happen, but mm. it has happened. So we just pray for him to rest in peace. Yeah. And Clement, you know, as you have said, he's usually very confident and very emphatic. What he believes in, he really sees that it's executed to the end. That's the kind of a person Dr. Wahomega Kuru was. Very confident, very bold in the issues that he sought to articulate. I'm sure you also felt that we've talked to him severally when we were together. Yeah, Governor Wahomega Kuru is that kind of a person who he will tell you what he feels that he wants to tell you. Yeah. He does not fear anything, you know, like even when he was going to address the crowd, there is a special way in which he was introducing himself, telling the people that this is the governor. Neniyo, that's what he used to say, it's me. Yes, I think this is the man, I'm the, I'm the governor, Dr. Homega Kuru, so people of Nyeri will miss him. I can see that. Yeah. Definitely. All right. Thank you, Clement. We'll talk to you later. Betty, let me also talk to a member of the county assembly. No, I'll talk to you a little bit later. Let me start with